Hey guys, very quick lesson today. It's called graphical solutions, and it's really an odd thing to look at. But so far, we've learned two ways to solve systems of equations. In other words, let's say you have 2x plus y equals 7, and then 3x minus 8y equals you know, 12 or something. The two ways to do it is either we can use elimination by making these y's the same or the x's the same, adding straight down or subtracting, getting an answer, then getting the other answer. The other way is to substitute, which on this one probably we go like this. We go, okay, y is equal to 7 and then minus 2x. And then we put down here, we put the y right there. Instead of that, get an equation with x's, solve for x, then solve for y. Well, there is a third way, and this is very strange to watch, but we're going to solve this by graphing. Go ahead and pause it and copy this down. Okay, if you've paused it, this is uh, how you're going to do this. We're going to solve by graphing. Now, which means we're going to graph both of these lines. Now, you might look at this bottom one and go, well, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, y equals mx plus b is my setup. So I'm going to go y is equal to negative x minus 1. So it looks like this. The intercept is negative 1 there, and the slope is negative 1. So you're going to go, you know, just make sure it's pointing down. 1 up, 1 over. 1 up, 1 over. It looks like this, you know. And you kind of draw the line. It looks kind of like that. And you, there we go, not a very perfect one. This one, you're going to have to kind of mash around a little bit. We're going to, we'll, we'll start with 3y on the left. We'll move over the 2x to be 2x there on the, and just moving this over. And then plus 6, we'll divide by 3, which gives us, you know, 3 all, all over. y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2, which means your intercept is 2, 1, 2, and that's it. And 2 thirds is your slope, so up 2 over 3. And you can go, of course, down to 1, 2, 3, over 3. Oops, maybe a little dot there. And then you're going to do this here. And you might notice that it, it doesn't, it, yours will look better than mine because you'll have a ruler probably doing it better. But it doesn't look like it really crosses at a certain, you know, way. Now, what you could do to actually, if it does that, what you could do to actually find the actual answer, of course, would be to either substitute or um, eliminate. Let's just actually do this. If y is equal to negative x minus 1, let's go to the, the, this equation here. We said it's y is equal to negative x minus 1, right? Okay, so we got 3 times negative x minus 1 minus 2x equals 6. I just took this and I stuck this in for that y. So 3 times negative x, oops, negative 3x, minus 3, minus 2x equals 6. That gives us negative 3x, negative, negative 5x. And then I'm going to move the 3 over. That turns it into 3 positive plus 6 is 9. And then I divide by negative 5, and the answer is uh, 9 over negative 5. Now, 9 divided by negative 5 is negative 1.8. Uh, that's the x. So if you look over here, if is x negative 1.8? Well, if this is x, this is negative 2. It'd be right there. But it looks like the place where these two lines cross, that's your answer, is right there. That's negative 1.8. Okay, now if you found the y after this, you could just go 9 over negative 5. Okay, so in other words, I'm going to take this one. I know this is going to be a mess on this screen here. Y, uh, excuse me, y plus x, which is y minus 9 fifths, equals negative 1. I'm just going to put negative 5 over 5. So I'll move this over. So negative 9 turns into positive 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. Four fifths. Well, is y when the x is almost negative two? Is the y almost one four fifths? So it's over negative two, up one, not quite one. It looks like we've got a pretty good guess here. So, but graphing this, you're not gonna. No human can look at that and go, "Oh, look, I got the answer." You know, uh, it's a, a negative nine fifths and four fifths. I mean, I, you, if you do that, man, you're. I'm in the wrong business. So you're in the wrong business too. You need to be. I don't know what you need to be. A professional, whatever that is. But nobody can do that. But sometimes they will end up where the lines cross exactly on a certain point, and then you'll be able to go, oh yeah, the solution is x is this and y is that. So it's kind of neat to see. So pause it for a second. Go ahead and you know copy those two down, and let's graph these. So you know, go ahead and graph it as you're, after you pause it, and we'll come come back. Okay, assuming you've come back, y equals negative three, and that's going to be okay. This is going to be x is negative. This is your x axis. So if y is negative 3, it looks like this. Oh boy, uh, that is just awful. Okay, it should look like oh, horrible. 
Anyway, that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. If you move the x over here, you get y is equal to 2x plus 2. So we got two, plus 2 is here. The salute, the, um, excuse me, the uh, slope is 2 over 1. So we got 2 up, 1 over. Uh, 2 down, 1 over. 2 down, 1 over. And then 2 down, 1 over. Boom. And you can do another kind of a u like that. So y is equal to negative 3. That's this line. y is equal to uh, 2x plus 2. That's your answer. Now you might, again, look at this and go, it didn't, didn't quite add up exactly. But let's just try to figure it out. So if y is equal to negative 3, well, you know it's going to be negative 3 for the y value. So that's here. So the x value, let's just put it in there. So y is negative 3. Let's put it right there. Negative 3 minus 2x equals 2. All right, so negative 2x. I'm moving this over. That'll be 5, so 3 plus 2. And then x is going to be 5 over 2, but negative. So and that it is, that's 1, 2 over, and then you, that's about right. You know, so that's your solution. So that's basically going to be your solution by graphing. And you might have to, if it doesn't intersect at a perfect point on your graph, you're going to have to go and actually do substitution or elimination. But a lot of these, they contrive to where it looks good and it works out exactly on a point. So, all right. Check your answers. Make sure. Okay. Pro pause it here and do the practice problem. Come back. Okay. Assuming you've paused here, let's do this one. This is an easy one. X is equal to negative 1. It just looks like this, straight down. Straight down. Perfectly straight. Ugh. That is horrific. That, that's eight, x equals negative 1, approximately. Okay. Y is equal to 2x plus 1. That means your uh, intercept is here. So that's a plus 1. Your slope is 2 over 1. So you can go up 2 over up to over, you know, and then down to and then over. And you can see, look at this. You don't have to draw this line a million miles. You can see right here that that is the point at which these two lines intersect. Well, what is that point? If some if you were in 8th grade or something and they said, "We're going to learn how to graph, what is this circled point?" You would go, "Okay, that's the x-axis, that's the y-axis, so that's going to be negative 1 and then oh, negative 1 again." So the answer is negative 1, negative 1. In other words, that's your x, that's your y. Well, that's the same thing as the answer. We already know x is negative 1. We already, they told us. This one here, we can figure out and prove that y is negative 1 because since x is negative 1, we can go y is equal to 2 times negative 1 or negative 2 plus 1. Well, what is negative 2 plus 1? Negative 1. Just proves that it works. So anyway, another way to solve systems and... Uh, have a great day doing your problems. See you next time.